Richard Neve is a retired medical artist, and he decided to use science to make the best possible guess at what Jesus looked like. So Raw Story explains on this, using techniques from a discipline called forensic anthropology, normally used to solve crimes, Neve used uh, evidence like skulls from the time and place that Jesus lived, and then and they then used computer technology to determine how tissue and muscle would have made his facial features look. They continue here, he was a Middle Eastern Jewish man from the region of Galilee, which borders modern day Lebanon and Syria. The clues in the Bible uh, about his appearance are subtle, but they are there. And what they say is that Jesus was a very typical looking Galilean Semite. They used historical data to also try to figure out his uh, height and his weight. And the average at the time, so this is about what they think he was, because this is the average at the time. Um, he was about 5'1". If Jesus existed, he was about 5'1". And he weighed about 110 pounds. <laughs> now, you guys are probably thinking, oh my god, that's a lot smaller than I thought. But it's actually true that back then, you know, people were much smaller. For a variety of different reasons. I mean, again, you'd have to ask scientists and let them go into detail about this. But I think a lot of it has to do with the ab availability of food and the portions of food and... Uh, you know, just the fact that we go further back in time, people are quite literally underdeveloped. Not that in the evolutionary scale it's that much of a difference between about, whatever, 2,000 years ago and today. But it's enough so that the average height is about 5'1 for a dude, and the weight is 110 pounds. So, uh, his hair in the Bible is described as, quote, like wool. That's interesting. That doesn't sound like a like a hippie who's at Woodstock with blue eyes like a lot of white evangelical Christians in the U.S. think Jesus looks. Uh, and his feet are described as, quote, bronze. Hmm, again, that's really not pale white hippie-like. So, given all of the evidence, if Jesus indeed existed, here's what he would have looked like. Oh, that's special. Oh, that's really special. For everybody who's listening on the live show and they can't see this, basically, uh, Christians are worshipping Midget Gaddafi. No, he looks like Muammar Gaddafi. Except I don't know how tall Muammar Gaddafi was, but this, this is 5 foot 1, 110 pound Muammar Gaddafi. Do you think that the Christians in Arkansas and Mississippi and Alabama, if they knew that this is the guy they were worshipping, that they would continue to worship him? That's a genuine question, because we do know that there are, uh, you know, high levels of bigotry and animosity toward other races, historically, in these regions. You're not worshipping a guy that looks like Kurt Cobain. You're worshipping Midget Gaddafi. So, you should know this, man. Now, again, it's actually a bigger question as to whether or not he even existed. The evidence that he did exist is basically based off the fact that it's not just in biblical texts that he's referred to. Uh, it, he's also referenced, you know, in other documents at the time that they say it's like corroborating evidence of, oh, okay, look, he, uh, he existed because there's multiple different accounts of him. But that's it. <laughs> like, you know, as far as the evidence goes of him existing, they say, that, no, that's it, though. That's where it ends. So did he exist? Possibly, you know, I lean towards he probably did because of the corroborating evidence, but he was just a dude. You know, he was a dude who had a God complex and, funny, literally God complex. Big time narcissist, wanted people to love him, and, you know, he's a, I'm, I'm the son of God. At the time it was common, where people always, you know, they would claim that they had magic powers, or they were the son of God, or whatever. His is just one story that happened to last, it happened to stick. Same with Muhammad, same with others. So, but hey, if you're gonna worship, at least know that... If indeed your god did exist, he wasn't a god. That's a different conversation. But this is what the dude looked like. So now get on your knees and praise Midget Gaddafi.